Welcome to the Horror Hotel, my name is Tartle, I'm your host here. This is a review for The Cloverfield Paradox, a movie released uh, right after the Super Bowl final game. And uh, here it is. Being somewhat of a fan of the original Cloverfield movie, I am always excited for a new entry. And since I like the angle that 10 Cloverfield Lane took, I was really excited to watch this one. Not only for the fact that this series takes every movie and goes in on the movies with a new angle, but I had a desire to know a lot more about it. And this movie kind of does this and also leaves maybe a little bit too much out. The story centers around the space station, which has a particle accelerator, much like the one we have on Earth, that is supposed, if successfully charged, provide Earth with power, since there is a shortage of that that threatens to tear the planet apart with a full-scale nuclear war. The accelerator is so powerful that they know that if they charge it and it overloads there is a chance of tearing apart time and space and that effect is called the Cloverfield Paradox. It is a risk that many of the crew doesn't really believe in but as you read the title of this movie you kinda know it happened. This results in a disaster in which the crew has to survive against the odds and make everything work to save Earth from ongoing destruction. As a film, this movie works pretty well. I am always entertained when I'm watching it and I feel that a lot of people really put in their hearts for this one because it really delivers when it comes to acting and making the whole thing uh, believable. The camera work is nothing incredible and the sets looks really good but they are very limited. One problem with the film is that this is a giant space station that, but it feels really small because of how it's shot. They try to show its bigger exterior but it doesn't really work and it kind of reminds me of how Alien does. The station is supposed to be really big but people get into position really fast and you actually never see people going to the other areas of it so it feels a bit closed in and while this is not ruining the movie it kind of makes you question things uh, that is not really fair to the writers either because they might not have meant it this way but as a story this movie is really fun and it gives in some good clues on what the Cloverfield universe is about and how it ties into the other movies and I kind of like that uh, idea of having every movie in a franchise going in from different angles but still you know adding to the whole thing. I will give this movie a 7 out of 10 because the really great movie is there but there are some parts that drives it down and we're gonna talk about that in the next section of this video. There are certain issues with the Cloverfield Paradox that makes me not putting it on a higher score and one of those is definitely uh, how they shot the set and how the set feels really small while they're on this big ass space station. Another problem I have is that there are some actions by some characters uh, that is uh, an entire like 10 minute section that is worthless it's it, you, they didn't have to do it and they just kill off the character anyway but it's it is revealed that not only did they have to do the spacewalk he doesn't need to die and then he does that anyway and that just feels like sloppy writing to me and one thing that uh, troubles me a little bit is uh, the, the character that loses his arm. Uh, that uh, he his shock is treated like comedy relief. So that the character loses his arm and is in shock for a very long time, right? And instead of instead of treating him as he is in shock, they put him as a comedy relief, which, which I can kind of agree with. But it's so over the top. In a way, it, it's so easy to spot that every time he says anything, it's going to be funny. And I don't think that really works at all. Uh, other than that, I don't think the movie shows enough of uh, how it, it affects the first Cloverfield movie. I would like uh, to have some more tie-ins. Uh, I guess that is hard to, hard to get, but you know. Thank you everyone for watching, I really appreciate that you sat through the whole video. I know it's not 
it's not excellent, but you know, you know, I I like doing them. And uh, if you feel like my work is uh, worth a damn or something like that, uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, down below, you can find links to my Patreon and to my Curious Cat, so you can ask me questions. And uh, you also find my Twitter and Facebook, all the ways to interact with me. I am very open for interaction, so don't be afraid to write. And with that, happy.